uh, we came to this uh, this gas station slash meat shop and uh, got ourselves some beverages and as we were coming out the door this SUV pulled in and and Brenda was inside and uh, we just were acting a little silly and went up and knocked on the passenger window and said hey can we pray for you So like you just came from Arrowhead and you're working hard for them and they compensate you, they pay you for it, right? And so that's like your wage. And so the wage will be earned because of our sin is death. But what this says is that because of our sin we've earned that death, but then it says that there's a free gift of God, right? So we, we will say that sin, because we all sin, always leads to death. And that's for everybody. Have you heard that before? He loves everybody. And he demonstrates that love for us by sending his son Jesus to die on the cross. And Jesus took the penalty for all of that sin that all of us do. And so the love that we talk about is it's the love of Christ. So we say the love of Christ takes away death and sin. There's a way to access that love. So if you read the number four, the blue. For by grace you have been saved through faith in that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not as a result of works, so that no one may boast. If, if you had to try to describe grace, how would you describe it? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, <laughs> but like grace is God giving us room to not receive what we actually deserve. So it would be like, you know, if you're if you're trying to get your insurance to cover something and by the rules it doesn't cover it, but the insurance company says, yeah, we'll cover that. We'll cover that medication, we'll cover that treatment. That's like what grace is, and God gives us an incredible amount of grace all the time. And it's by grace, it's through that space that he gives us that we've been saved through our faith. So what we say is that faith in the love of Christ, what he did for us actually, takes away and pushes away that sin and death. What this is saying is that if you confess with your mouth, like out loud, there's power when we say things out loud. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and, and that means like Jesus is, is Lord over everything. He's Lord over your cancer treatment. He's in charge of your cancer treatment. He's Lord over your insurance. He's in, in Lord over your anxiety. He's Lord over your, your husband. Like he's Lord over everything. But that requires us to like fully submit and surrender everything to him hard thing to do. Do you, ever, do you ever remember a time in your life when you said, Jesus, I, I want you to be the Lord of my life? Yeah. Yeah? I went to a Billy Graham thing out in Oregon. Okay. And then down in Minneapolis, I'm going to Really? So you, you've had a time in your life and you just said, yeah, Jesus, I want you to be my Lord. And then I got baptized uh, a year ago. Okay. Down at Hill Lake. Okay. Well, here's what's cool. Because you've done that, Scripture says, it says, therefore, if anyone is new in Christ, 
She's a new creation. The old has passed away. So you know that the old Brenda's passed away, and, and you're a new Brenda. You know that, right? God has made you new. And what's cool about when we're in Christ, the scripture says that we get the Holy Spirit. And so as you're praying earlier, and you're like, I need some comfort. Like, we can ask the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will be comfort. Brenda was just completely awesome. She uh, she's already a believer, and uh, we just left ourselves with some words. But she got a little nervous with the camera, and uh, didn't want to be on on camera praying and uh, asking the Lord to give her comfort. And so, out of respect, we shut the camera off. But man, she was really encouraged. She left, and uh, she's going to come to an evening service. And she felt blessed. She thanked us for uh, being bold to go up and knock on her passenger window of her car. And so, we're just praying for Brenda. She's she's. The Lord is it, we're already working in her life, and uh, we got to spend some more time with her, so that was a good time. Yeah.